now it was war. I had to get back to where I needed to be. And I, I headed into Chicago in 96 with one thing on my mind, and that was Dorian Yates. I mean, Dorian win the Olympia and he'd disappear and show up on that Olympia stage as a nightmare. He just kept getting bigger. But this time I wasn't gonna buy into the hype. I showed up backstage at the 96 Mr. Olympia with a vengeance. I remember getting into an argument with Steve Weinberger, who was one of the judges, because they had told us at the athletes meeting that we couldn't have any seconds backstage. No one could help us backstage. So we were all back there to fend for ourselves, which was fine. Mike Matarazzo or, or, or Mike Quinn, I think it was, was uh, helping me with my oil. And uh, we were kind of helping each other, and I looked over and I saw Steve Weinberger and Dorian Yates sequestered in a room, and I complained to Wayne Demilia. I said, Wayne Demilia, if that's not fixed, Joe Weider's gonna be my next person I go find, because I thought there was an unfair advantage. We had IFBB judges looking at Mr. Olympia, helping Mr. Olympia, it just didn't look right. I felt like I'm, I'm beat, I have to fight with more than just Dorian Yates. And of course it pissed Steve Weinberger off. He came out, got in my face, pointed his finger at me, and basically said he was here to help everybody. And I came back with some sarcastic remark that I don't see how you can help everybody in a room by yourself. And it was at that moment that I felt, uh-oh, maybe I, maybe I bit off more than I could chew because uh, if he's not judging the Olympia, all of his friends are judges. But I felt confident on the way I looked. I felt Dorian would have to beat me rather than me having to beat Dorian. And before it was all said and done, it did come back down to me and Dorian. And of course, when I heard, and still the champion basically, Dorian Yates, it was a bitter pill for me to swallow. I was in the, sh I was in the shadow of the shadow.